The repeat injection is one of the most useful controls in Unitex Forms, as it allows us to collect arrays of data from the end user following a data structure. However, extracting these values from the SharePoint list could be a little bit challenging with an index workflow. In this video, we are going to show you how to do it. Let's see it with an example. Let's have a look at the workflow. In our example, just to keep it simple, we are going to access all the individual costs of uh, the hotels in the repeating section in order to calculate the total costs for the hotels in our travel request. As we were saying at the beginning, the values of the repeating section are stored in XML format, which means that the only way I have to interact with this data from the workflow is using the query XML action which is the first action that we have in our workflow. Let's have a look at the action. There are some values that we need to provide to set up this action. The first value is the XML source. In this case, we need to tell the Nintex action where is the XML document that I want to extract the data from. And in here, we've got a couple of possibilities. We can either query the whole XML a document generated for this item, which is the information that we have stored in the hidden field form data, or we can directly query the part of that whole XML that stores the information of the repeating section, which is the information that we have connected to the multiple lines of text column hotels. The next thing I need to tell the action is the XPath query. Now, for those of you that you don't know what XPath is, XPath is a syntax that allows me to define parts of the XML document and navigate through the different nodes and attributes of the XML document. Teaching you how to use uh, XPath is not the purpose of this video, and to be honest with you, you don't really need to be an expert to uh, use XPath in an index workflow, but the one thing I would suggest is to use any of the free online tools to test the syntax of your XPath expression. In our example, we are going to use this XPath expression just to get the individual value of every uh, cost field in the repeating section. Now, the following parameters are about how we are going to store the information that we are getting from the XML query. Depending on the type of value that we are getting from this query, we can either get individual values, which is the text option, or in scenarios like the one before in which we are querying uh, the whole XML document, we will be getting smaller parts of the XML document, which will be, again, XML, XML, XML documents. In any case, in either of those uh, cases, the result will be an array of values, which we will be storing in a collection variable in our workflow. Okay? Once we've got all of these values in our uh, collection variable, the only thing I need to do is to look through all the values in that collection, and in our case, uh, what we need to do is to add this value to the variable storing the total cost of the of the hotels. And as you can see, in every iteration of the loop, we are going to write the individual cost of every hotel to the history list, as well as the total host uh, as the last action of our workflow. This way, if we run this workflow, what's going to happen is that this workflow is going to extract this value this value and calculate the total of both values. Actually, if uh, we have a look at the instances that we have run for this workflow, and we access the latest one, what we can see is that in every iteration, the workflow has written the individual cost of every hotel, and after the loop, it has written the total value of the hotels.